I didn't want to be a rock star, and I didn't want to be a movie star. No pictures, please. I wanted to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hi, my name is Rumi, and today on Cook Time with Rumi, we're gonna prep and cook one of my favorite dishes called green bean and potato curry. Okay, first things first. The number one rule on Cook Time with Rumi is that you always check with a parent or an adult before you start cooking. Next, it's very important to wash your hands before you start any cooking. Today we're gonna make green bean and potato curry. I love every dish with curry, plus I love green beans. Not only do they taste great, but they're really good for you too. Now the next thing we need to do is get our cooking pots, pans, and bowls. So, here's our pan. And the ingredients we need for this dish are oil, chicken broth, cumin, curry, green beans, rice, celery, tomatoes, onion, potatoes, parsley, water, and some salt and pepper. Whoop, whoop. Did you know the Greeks held bean feast to worship Apollo, the sun god, who was responsible for ripening the harvest of the earth? So the first thing you need to do is prepare your rice according to the package, which is what we've already done. So now we're going to put some olive oil in our pan and get ready to saute. A tablespoon. And then we're going to add some onions. Already getting hot there. And then some celery. And then we're going to let this saute for about two minutes. And now we've been sauteing the onion and celery for a couple minutes, so we're going to our next step. We're going to add our potato. And we're going to add our chicken broth. Add that slowly. And now some water. Cool it down a little bit. And then some curry. I love curry, Add some nice spice to it and some cumin. And finally, some salt and pepper. And so we're gonna bring it up to a boil, then you're gonna reduce the heat to a simmer and leave it there for about 20 minutes. Now we've been simmering this for about 20 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and add our green beans. And actually a cool fact is that diets that include beans have been proven to reduce the risk of cancer and heart disease. So just a little cool factor. And so now we're going to stir this up and then you're gonna simmer it for another 10 minutes until the green beans are tender. Now the green beans have been simmering for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and plate. So over here we have our rice we already made. So I'm going to put it in my little bowl here that serves as a mold. So we're gonna get a lot in there. We're gonna pack it in there so it stays a uh, mold. So we're gonna pack it in there, need a little bit more actually. And then, let's see, pack, pack, squish it in there. And now, the little tricky part here, I'm going to put the plate upside down, right there, and see if it works. Ta-da! So, we're gonna get our curry over here, we're gonna turn it off, and then we're going to just place, oops, place our curry on the side. I get a little messy here. Place it on there. Get some more potatoes in here. There you go. And now, to garnish, we have some fresh tomatoes from the garden. You can also put them in the pan, but since they're so fresh, I like to add them as a garnish. So just gonna sort of spread them on there a little bit. A little more there. And then some parsley. And then you yeah, have your green bean and potato curry. When you're cooking, it's always very important to make sure ingredients measurements are right. And the ingredients you use should always be as fresh as possible so your food tastes the best. Remember the cook time rule. You should always have all five food groups whenever eating each meal. Cooking is fun and the food you make should taste good and be healthy for you. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. This is a delicious green bean dish. 
Plus, I love the curry. I mean, you can always add more if you want a stronger flavor, which I probably would do next time because I love the curry so much. Also, since you add the rice, it's a great vegetarian meal. Thanks for hanging out with me on Cook Time With Me. See you next time when we'll be making potato salad featuring bell peppers. All kids should lead a healthy, active, and nutritious life. And we all play a role educating young people about healthy choices, including 16 million children at risk of hunger in the U.S. Join me and Stepso to help raise awareness about the one in five children at risk of hunger by visiting an online youth action center at www.nokidhungry2.org. Did you know? You don't know anything yet. Okay. Did you know what the Greeks have been tasting? I was gonna say something else, but darn. Now it's right. I'm tongue guy. Okay. See you next time. <laughs> Diets that include green beans, uh, beans. Uh, I said that wrong. Diets that have, uh, darn. Okay. Diets that include green beans. Beans. Poor green beans. I'm throwing it in and out. Okay.